Hi, Sirius Roos here, back with another Enter Murder Mentions New Game Plus Plus video, episode 157. And it's been a few days since I recorded last episode. I've just been doing like other stuff like coding and editing because of all the videos I recorded. So, yeah, you can see I can get one quadrillion ghost particles. I can get a bunch of tree of decay things as well. I can get two of these upgrades. First, we E48 per second. Um, this one. Also, and then oh, it does nothing, but and then I can just, I'll just get all these. Um, I never know if they're called radioactive unstable quarks. I never even knew that. But anyway, we also have a ridiculous amount of prions. I'm not even sure. I just may want to. I may nano and not my nano field big build. Which makes me reluctant to do that. So I will not do that. I mean, I guess I can go into nano field and yeah. And anti-energy is capped, so that's <laughs> there's no reason to do that anyway. So instead of doing pointless stuff like that, I can do useful stuff like this, which will get me up to two quadrillion ghost particles. This is enough to get the next neutrino boost. So, or yeah, neutrino boost. So here it is. Um, in big rips, they first they boost first big rip upgrade strength by sixty three percent. The next one is E thirty five ghost particles. I can also get one, two, three, four um, neutrino multipliers. So that's gonna be pretty good. Six hundred twenty five times multiplier on all neutrinos. So this should help speed up the big rip part of it. But right now, I'm more focused on just trying to... It's my big rip, Tree of Decay, built. I, I hope it's not... I don't, think it's, I don't think it's my big rip build. I think I can just do this. I also have a new record on Automator Ghosts, so I always check that. 7.35, That um, I don't think I was using anything. Um, I think it's already a 7, so that doesn't, doesn't really matter all that much. And I can get all of these to help speed up Tree of Decay even more. And, yeah, we're cruising along. So what I'm going to try to do is get more neutrinos. I feel like I didn't get a lot of neutrinos last time. And that's why I was a little slower. So, and again, Photon's Wall is very, very soon. I'm now, um, I would say, um, through almost, I'm... I would say about 60% through the inflation era, maybe even more. Um, and then the photons wall will set in, and that will... I'll be struggling for for weeks. But anyway, um, we can we can quantum here, um, just for the quarks, as usual. I mean, maybe I can grab... No, I can't grab any nano field rewards. And I forgot even what's automated and what's not. I... Okay, this is, this is automated. I think the only thing that's not automated is Tree of Decay, which is just the tree upgrades. I think that's the only thing that is not... Everything else is... Like, these are automated. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. We, we're, we're right now not, not testing out the... The... Um, the new Neutrino Boost, but it's fine because, you know, I'm going to get... I'm going to mostly try to go for a bunch of these Ghostly Particle Multipliers. Hopefully that will help me. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Do I'm gonna start grinding neutrinos, and that's probably what I'm gonna do for a little, a little while. So I, I yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I have grinded a lot of neutrinos, probably more than I should have. And a new antimatter record E8.57 quadrillion E2500 quarks. In Tree of Decay, I have E45 cork spin without even, um, I don't even have, um, I'm, I'm not, or I have the radioactive decays, but I don't, I'm not even in big rip, and I have 22 nano, yeah, yeah, 22 nano fill rewards, I'm not sure if I, I showed that to you, so anyway, it is definitely time to go into big rip, well, after doing the usual eternity grind, to get up to a good amount, um, puts me E80, 
I'm 87, so that's, that's pretty good. And then, yeah, let's go, let's go into Big Rip. I probably have a lot, a lot of time theorems now, yeah. 2E104 time theorems, which actually allows me to, in a Big Rip build, like, remember there's the nano fields in Big Rip build? Um, I'm going to remake the build, because now I can purchase um, these studies in the nano field and big rip build so that's yeah that that's pretty exciting but of, of course i need to make the build first so yeah i'm not even sure get all this i don't want to skip out on this uh, in 282 i'm not even sure what i um do here i think i just get all of these all of these if, 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 if these costs are the same, then I know it's a success. Yeah, these costs are the same. So I have to get this, and it's expensive, but we can afford it now. So, yeah, this is honestly, this is going to be a general big big rip build. Um, nano field in big rip will be this. So I'm just going to yeah, gain internal matter and get all of these. E yeah, so I, I haven't even checked what this is doing. So they boost the first big rip upgrade strength by 68.7%, which means that this is going to be even stronger. The infinity points boost normal dimensions. So yeah, that's going to, I think that really will um, affect what is happening in big rip. So I can gain, it's in the trillions for ghost particles, but this is before ghost particle multipliers and before I dilate even once here so it's, it's obviously yeah nine quadrillion this is this is the inflation that i thought i was gonna get. it's been a, it's really been a couple of days i can get this i can get um i can get you as well in a couple minutes i i'm not sure if i can push to 23 nano field rewards i don't think that's possible now because it, it did take a little while to get to 22 but then again that was not a big rip um and I have E75 space shards, which is a lot. And I mean, it really depends on like what I'm, I'm gonna get like here. This, this is gonna be 2.25 quadrillion, then nine quadrillion, 36 quadrillion, then 144 quadrillion, 576 quadrillion. So that depends, but I I, I know I can get three of these. I, I know I have enough for three. Or at least I think I have enough for three. If I don't have enough for three, then then I've been miscalculated, like quite a bit. So I hope I hope I'm not wrong, wrong on that. Um, this is E49, so I'm nowhere near that. Um, I guess I can just get start getting some of these. They don't even do anything, but that's I guess what I can do. But yeah, this gives this gives me short bursts of eternal matter if I do it like that. I'm not even sure if it's the most efficient to do it this way. It gets me eternal matter quicker though, so. I'll do it that way just a few times, and then the dilation run didn't do much. So seems like it's time to maybe ghostify, except this is going up at a pretty good rate. So maybe ghostifying is actually not the not the thing I should do at this point. Like maybe I should just I should just wait like an hour or so and see where I end up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna wait for an hour. Or so I'm up to e 1.3 billion antimatter in big rip that's like tw that's definitely over 20 percent that's i think that's 22 percent um if i'm doing the math no i'm not quite 22 i'm like close to 22 but not quite there so yeah that, it, i'm gonna keep you dragging this for the next like 15 episodes so yeah seen a bit okay i'm back an hour later and i mean 707 quadrillion ghost particles this is without multipliers by the way and i can get even more by doing this probably even more if i dilate no i, I thought i was going to get more by dilating there but yeah anyway i think it's a good time to get our um ghostly particle multipliers one two three yeah i knew it was going to be three and i actually calculated this is going to be like 19 quadrillion, not quadrillion, octillion. I don't know why I keep saying quadrillion. Octillion, so that's going to be way too much. But anyway, we can get um, three orders of magnitude of ghost particles. This is going to be huge because um, 
This is going to make it so that I can get one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the multipliers. That's going to be that's going to be unheard of in the photons wall. That is that is something you will not see in the photons wall, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, just get just get the regular build going, and yeah, I'm I'm, I'm getting I'm getting look at this. I'm getting sextillions of tau neutrinos per galaxy. So you, you can you can see how overpowered that is. I can probably even go into Automator Ghosts and see if there is something. Um, I got 7.47, not enough for for something new. So that's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. 7.5 is gonna be pretty nice. Um, I think it'll just unlock a new Automator Ghost, I guess. Like this, this is two, so that's very expensive. And I guess I could try to do the Prion Generation Ghost. Um, like. I have no idea, like, one second worth of, um, like, I, I could do it only in Big Rip, um, I have no idea, like, I, <laughs> that, that's just very, that, that one, that one is a complicated automator ghost, so, I'm just getting, I'm just getting these to, um, to help speed it up progression, I can already get E1880 quarks, and I'm probably just gonna do one more quantum here. Um, looks like, um, yeah, I can start getting more upgrades here. Um, and where's the, where's the big, it's always that big, just, yeah, it's, I don't know what causes it, but it's something huge. So like maybe, like it's doing something that I couldn't do before. Like I really want what it is. It just happens. I really do not know. I could try to investigate what the cause of that even is. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here. I always have four dimension boosts here. Maybe that's part of the problem. And then, when I get... I'm guessing this is this is why it does that. Because once this goes over four... Yep, there it is. Once I can actually start getting... Um, I, thought, I, I, I thought my... Oh, it's supposed to be... My automated dimension boosts... That, that's why it's slow. I mean, I, I'm doing... All my galaxy is low just to neutrino grind, but... I don't really... It'll, it'll be better if I just do it this way. And I can still get a lot of neutrino grinding in this way. Um, like, you can see... Yeah, I'm getting a lot of neutrinos, so it looks like this is gonna be easy. The next one's probably, like... Um, somewhere around 60... Not 60, maybe 50, no, 500 octillion, and then there's going to be one at um, about 12 non-million, so it's probably doable. Like, I'm already 1% of the way there, so I'll probably just go for three of these. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.